So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're in this, you wanna expand sound, video and game controllers. And then you wanna find the high definition audio device. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatic for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. Then you wanna go back and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on every pick from a list. And then you wanna find high definition audio device. You wanna click on it and then click on next and then click on yes. And now you want to install that. It might ask you to restart your computer. Don't do it yet to complete the next steps in the video. So if you get this message right here, then you want to click on no. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in sound settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. And then you want to click on more sound settings. And now you want to make sure that you're under the playback tab. And now you want to right click on the blank space. And now you want to make sure you have show disabled devices and show disconnected devices both selected. So you want to take both of these. And then you want to find your speakers. You want to click on it. And then you want to click on set default. And then the green tick will appear right here, meaning that it's now a default device. And then click on OK. And you also want to make sure that your speakers have been enabled. So you want to right click on it. And then it should be saying enable for you. So you want to enable it. And then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then you want to find audio and then click on run. Wait for this to load. And now once this comes up, you want to click on yes. And now you want to follow all the steps that will come up. And then once you complete all the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.